Hello everyone. Uh, today we have with us Vishwas. Vishwas, uh, you know, there is a special story associated with Vishwas. Vishwas, um, uh, you know, was extremely keen on working only on projects. He was hell bent upon that. But we were also in two minds. Usually, we don't take people directly onto uh, projects. You know, uh, we want people who can. deliver trainings also whatever they learn they need to deliver the trainings on those real world experiences that they gained and also they have to work on projects but somehow somewhere uh, we felt that uh, you know vishwas is extremely good at projects and uh, we onboarded vishwas as uh, uh, you know a data scientist at ai sprite his case is very exceptional right but yeah all that aside Vishwas is from non-programming, non-IT background, right? He's a mechanical engineer. Despite being a mechanical, despite being a mechanical engineer, getting into this field of data science is very difficult. Is what everyone says, Vishwas. Okay, I'm not saying that. So, what is your take on this? Yeah, we would like to hear from you. Sure, sure, buddy. Yeah. So, uh, as you rightly said. Uh... whenever there is a data scientist role or a machine learning or artificial intelligence they first give preference to the computer science engineering or it background so mechanical the first question why do you want to switch the roles to uh, it department and uh, why why don't you fit in the mechanical industry or if you could have gone for the software design kind of role so basically uh, like my story is simple like uh, During my college, I had a lot of fun. Uh, I didn't uh, really like focus much on my studies, core stuffs like uh, into mechanical. I was not up to the mark. I know about myself. So later, uh, uh, but I got eventually placed uh, in my campus. So I got placed into like uh, non-technical roles in Amazon, City, Axis Bank. So slowly, I was uh, learning technical stuffs. Uh, gradually, I got interest in. Uh, uh self learning in java little bit little bit not uh, very much the basics of java sql uh, this uh html css all part so while i was majorly working with data a lot of data uh in axis bank so i got to know about this data science and machine learning what i can do more things with uh, use of data with the availability of growing data in the real world how i can contribute in a quality manner so far it was like up to my uh, it was very little the world the job salary but i felt like uh, uh, there should be some purpose in my career itself so that's why i like uh, learned i i'll just continue uh, shall i continue the journey So sorry, I'm stopping you to speak. No, no, no. Go ahead, go ahead, please, Vishwas. It's no, very, very much excited. Yeah, to share the story. Yeah, yeah, please. So, uh, what happened? The self-learning continued. It didn't stop. Uh, I was working as a system manager. Was working majorly in uh, SQL. Then I expl- I came to know about this data science, machine learning, what it can do. Then again, I did uh, self-learning and great learnings. I enrolled in. few basic free courses i have learned and then i thought oh, why don't i directly join a course or i do me kind of things then i thought okay let me get the basics right before joining uh, or again switching a different uh, uh, domain altogether because i cannot keep on switching right i have to uh, somewhere i have to be in the line so i thought uh, let me do a basic course let me have my basics right then uh, let me build the path from that so i like enquired multiple multiple institutes i i got very much interested about this uh, data science while learning in uh, like great learning great learning free courses and lot of youtube videos then i enquired about a lot of institute like uh, great learning uh, scalar other institutes along with this 360 digital mg also so wh- what i found interesting in 360 digital mg is uh, one is the uh reviews the lot of good reviews and then second thing is uh i came across your youtube channel you were providing the free internship that time i needed a internship certif- certificate so i just why don't i try i joined the 30 days uh, free internship program 
that itself i have watched all your videos starting from sql crisp ml cube and the basic python and i like i got very much interested in your teaching as well as uh, i got the confidence okay let me learn uh, this is my stuff i got that feeling and uh, successfully i completed the internship i got the certificate and because of that since i completed i got this 20% scholarship also which other students doesn't get usually then i joined here in the month of january this year then i continued uh, i learned under uh, gayatri saumya indra indra kumar and uh, saran different people uh, sweta everyone is a wonderful teacher and uh, eventually i completed uh, every assignment projects i enrolled my initial two projects itself was a first one is computer vision image classification second one is uh, using llm i have to develop a chatbot like when you give the pdf when we ask question it will answer from the pdf and the third project is solar anomalies and the fourth project while i was doing only i got a call from 360 digital mg like uh, uh, we got a like uh, opportunity for you uh, why don't you like uh, take up and attend the interview and if you're okay you can join i uh, attend the interview everything was uh, going smooth and they told like uh, this is uh, both uh, training and uh, uh, this project I-, i was okay because like uh, training also it's a good thing like uh, as you rightly said when we are teaching something uh, our knowledge will would grow multifold we would remember it for a long time uh, but the thing is since uh, i am traveling from a long distance uh the dis- the time to reach up the reach the institute it takes like one and of two hours is the same case uh, up and down and also i have to training uh, do the training and also work in project i thought it's too much for me so that's why i asked for like uh, uh, please provide me that if you have the opportunity that to uh, let me attend the technical rounds and if i get the opportunity to work in the project i will go up with that one always uh, not a problem i would wait for uh, upcoming other placements which you provide very well and attend those so that's the short journey that i had with wonderful you. wonderful vishwas wonderful yeah it's very inspiring story yeah it's very inspiring story and uh, we come across only a few students who are really knowledgeable and the moment we give them a project they quickly accomplish the results and uh, shows the final output right you are one of those students who has been very very fast in terms of completing the projects and even on the real world projects that um, you know you worked on as an intern and the projects that you're currently working on right you have been a brilliant guy right we are we are very fortunate in fact to have you. so second question is vishwas for the students who are undergoing the training right or students who just completed the training what would be your suggestion for them on how should they upskill themselves to get into this field of data science or ai oh uh, sure uh, for my juniors uh, students uh, what i would say is like uh, uh, see the data science or uh, artificial intelligence it is a uh, very much interesting subject if you approach in that way it would be easy and in upcoming days the companies even they would not restrict you to i guess uh, they would not restrict you to use any like uh, open source platforms like uh, llm model chat gpt or uh, let's say the uh, stack overflow you would be free to use whatever you want the basic thing is you should have the basic things right you should understand the logic of whatever the business problem comes you should know what tools you have to use and what are the different models even if uh, chat gpt throws something at you you should know whether you have to pick the one up or you have to reject it the decision making skill you can develop only when you uh, write lot of code uh, like there are like wonderful assignments uh, given to us you have to complete regularly and you have to practice by typing the code as uh, often barney says you have to type 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 and uh, don't restrict yourself to like once you are done with the uh, this 360 digit mg courses already it's uh, abundant but still don't restrict that go to uh, outside if there is a lot of uh, youtube open sources available and there are a lot of uh, courses there are there are this uh, data science.org kind of stuffs are that you can do yourself self learning and do lot of 
more projects apart from what you do here the real time project don't stop there just keep your learning uh, like keep yourself updated and also like uh, uh, regarding the jobs though sometimes the ma- market may be down uh, don't feel like sad or uh, kind of uh, feeling low you know because i was there in that situation just keep uh, applying for the companies at least even if it's a internship just take it it's okay that's because at this stage you need the experience because that's what even the big com- since the ea is uh, very new to all the companies even the companies a uh, little much little bit uh, afraid to recruit the freshers they expect a little bit of experience so it's okay just go for it all the best guys thank you so much uh, and you you have rightly said uh, you know the most important points that is just go for the internship guys don't uh, say that you know i want salary only then i work doesn't work that way right until and unless you have knowledge companies won't hire you for you to get knowledge you have to work with companies you have to somewhere break this chain right go work gain real world experience and then start applying for jobs yeah. we as i think uh, vishwas i'm yet to get back to you on the question that you asked uh you told that how do we determine the depth in video analytics right so that question is there but you know i'm hardly finding time sorry for that i'll i'll pull out some time you know post my singapore visit maybe and then i'll certainly address that once i'm in chennai all the best vishwas uh, you're doing a good job on workplace analytics and uh, yeah i'm certain that uh, you will grow in leaps and bounds in your career and i wish you all the best yeah the longer you are going to stay with us the better it will be for both of us yeah <laughs> thank sure, you so sure. much vishwas yeah yeah thank you so much for thank you bye